Well, with this story, we have decided to give our teams a mission. Imagine. Imagine they will be Gustave Eiffel in 2022. How would they do to make such a disruptive project sustainable? How would they do to build a tower that will be net zero, without waste, with everything creating a own sustainability, circularity and regeneration? This is what we have asked them to do. In this documentary, there will be five stages in the value chain. First, pre-project. How you design your sustainable Eiffel Tower and how you do it collaboratively between all stakeholders, private and public stakeholders, working all together on the virtual twin of the project in the 3D experience platform. First stage. Second stage. You know that in a building, energy and resources are very important when it comes to decarbonized. And for that, you have to plan for renewable energy and reuse. Third stage, steel. Steel is very important in a tower because you need a lot of that. But steel processes can be very carbonized. So you have to invent new steel processes that will be carbon free. Fourth stage, logistics. How do you bring everything you need at the place of construction in a sustainable way? And this needs a virtual twin of the supply chain. And last but not least, at the end, how do you build sustainably? And in order to do that, the best way is to do it modular. Productize your building, which is a brand new way of building towers and assets. So in this documentary, you will see how these five stages make the construction of the sustainable Eiffel Tower an adventure, but also a very logic sustainable process. The Building Tomorrow program is at the center of what we want to do at Dassault System. In fact, at Dassault System, our purpose is sustainable innovation to harmonize product, nature, and life. What does it mean? It means that what we want to provide is our solutions that are going to empower our ecosystem of innovators to build a more sustainable future. And we are in the decade for, to deliver for climate change. It means that we only have till 2030 to significantly reduce our way of innovating, creating, building and life cycling of our assets or we won't be able to give back to our children a livable planet. And it all begins with our infrastructure. Infrastructure and city represent more than 60% of the world emission, more than 40% of the waste of water. So we have to change the way infrastructure and cities are built for a more sustainable future. And this is what we want to do at the system. The Eiffel Tower is at the center of this story. Why? Well, first, I love the Eiffel Tower. When I came back to Paris some years ago to live in the city, I took an apartment right next to the Eiffel Tower and each evening I was looking at the tower and saying, well, Paris is beautiful. This is a symbol of Paris. But it's also a symbol of disruption. At the time of Gustave Eiffel, nobody wanted this tower yet to fight to make it happen. And this is a kind of fight that we need to make it happen to build a sustainable world. So the Eiffel Tower is also there as a symbol of disruption, disruption that we need to make sustainable. And that's the reason why we have put it at the center of our story. I think digital tools are powerful enablers when it comes to helping organizations building products or building more sustainably. And among all the digital tools, one stands out, and it's virtual twins. What is a virtual twin? A virtual twin is a digital representation of a product, 
a company or an ecosystem as complex as a society. And the beauty of it is that it's multi-scale, multi-physics. And you can run thousands on millions of simulation on your city, on your building, on your planes, and decide for the most sustainable one. You can put heat waves, tsunami on your buildings, and you check whether it's still resilient. So it's very powerful because then, when you design your building, you can optimize everything for sustainability. You can know in advance how much energy it's going to consume, how waste is going to be recycled, how water can be reused. And instead of looking at it afterwards, everything can be decided beforehand. You basically design and build for sustainability. Well, this project also has a social dimension. Of course, a tower and its environment has to be part of a city. It has to be there for the use of all citizens, for the benefit of all citizens. So we have created the tower as well as a garden, a school, a research center. Why? Because we think that cities are the place where people meet, people learn, people share, and we want this tower to have that goal as well in our project. Well, for such a project, collaboration is a key topic. The only way to make it happen is through collaboration between urban planners, architects, construction companies, energy and resources companies, logistic actors. And in order for all of them to be able to collaborate, well, we basically need the virtual twin of the project, but also the virtual twin of the supply chain, and basically, one common language. And well, 3D is in this project, the common language of all these people working on this amazing project on the basis of the virtual twin. And this is only possible with the platform, the 3D experience platform. In conclusion, the future of infrastructure and cities starts today. At DASO System, we are committed to sustainable infrastructure. We are in the decade to deliver for climate change. We need to make it happen starting today. And we would love to do that with all of you.